everybody. I just wanted to make this little quick video to show you how to make those audiograms so that you can save money by making them through Premiere and After Effects. It's really simple. I knew nothing about After Effects and I taught myself how to do it watching a YouTube video. Some experience with Premiere might be good to have to help you complete these audiograms, but for the most part, if you're willing to kind of play around and poke around, I think it's pretty simple. So I hope this video helps. So I've created a new Premiere Pro project. I've titled it Audiogram because I'm going to keep coming back to this project because it'll just make things easier the next time I want to make an audiogram. And I've already imported in the quote that I'm going to use and the Instagram post that I'm going to use as the photo. I'm going to take the photo. It's important this first time that you drag the photo in first because all of the information that is in that photo is going to populate the sequence and all your settings will be right. So drag the photo from the source area to the timeline. And now I can drag my quote, which obviously it's going to be longer, and I can make I can minimize that with the minus key to make it fit in the screen. And then I want to add an adjustment layer. You do want to just come down here where it says new item and click on that and you want an adjustment layer. So you click on that and it will create an adjustment layer based on the video settings. That's why it's important to bring in your image first because then you don't have to worry about this. But um, an Instagram post is 1080 by 1080. So I'm going to say yes, create that adjustment layer, and then I'm going to drag the adjustment layer over and that's going to be on the second layer. I'm going to select both the adjustment layer and the photo, the inst my Instagram photo, and I'm going to make it as long as the quote. Remembering that you want it to be under one minute for Instagram because that's the longest that you can post. I believe LinkedIn is three minutes, but don't quote me. I'll have to look that up. Now you want to click uh, to unselect those two things and on the adjustment layer, right click to select replace with After Effects composition. And so you click that and it's now going to automatically open After Effects. And then you're going to, I just go ahead and name it my episode number right there. And so see, now it's already imported in the video settings for uh, that adjustment layer, which is set already for an Instagram post. But for this purposes, um, down here in this window, we need to um, uh, command Y on a Mac. And I apologize, I don't know the keystroke, but basically you're adding in a solid right here. And so whatever color it is, it doesn't matter because we're going to put something over it. It's just for the effect. So it says dark gray solid. That's fine. So I'm going to say, okay. And now I can delete this adjustment layer because we don't need it anymore. And then up here in this window, you are going to import um, command I to open up this field. And this is why it's important to get your assets all, um, organized before you come in because then it's easy to find them. You're going to import the quote. You don't need the photo, just the quote. And you come back down here to this gray solid and make sure it's selected. And then you go up to the effect and you're going to add an audio spectrum. So this adds, here's our audio spectrum right here. And I, you can customize how wide you want these lines. So I usually pull them out a little bit more. And then over here for the settings, you can set this for whatever you want. I'll tell you which one, what I like, but please realize that you can set this for whatever. So the starting frequency I like is 1000 and I can um, put these settings in, um, I'm sure somehow tag this and I just like it because I like the audiogram height and, and frequency to just be a higher frequency. If you have a low number, you're barely going to see it move, but I want this to be really visual. So I use a high start frequency and my end frequency is 5,000 and I just, that's the look that I like. This is the number of bands. So basically the number of dots, you can do 50, 
and that just will give you not as many dots or you can do 100. So just choose how many ever dots or points of frequency that you'd like. And then maximum height, I like them to really show up over my image. So once again, I choose 5,000. You don't have to alter this, but I change it to 60 because we know our audio is about 60 seconds. Uh, you don't have to worry about this uh, audio offset. The thickness, personally, I like the, once again, I want it to be visible. So I choose a thickness of, I think it's five millimeters, maybe, I don't know. And I want them to be very crisp. So I'm gonna choose zero for the softness. If you want them to be a little fuzzy, then you could go 50% or even 100%. And then this is what I think is cool, is I can choose the color so I can stick with the branding. So this can open up um, this window and you can even choose an outside color and an inside color. But for my purposes, I'm going to choose for them to be the same color, which is this light green. So I'm gonna put this in twice. Once you import the quote into this field here, the source field, then you need to drag it down here and then choose the solid, effects controls, this is really important because you want to tell it where to get the audio to create the, the spectrum, like the frequencies, where to find that. So you, this little drop down window, instead of choosing this gray solid, you want to choose that quote that you imported. And now, as you see this play out where she says something about their hand. So you can see what it looks like. And if you want to increase or decrease any of these numbers, if you want, um, we have 50 frequency bands. Let me change it to a hundred to show you the difference. Hands, they held hands and she couldn't tell where his stopped and hers began. So you can just play with these numbers until you get them dialed in how you like. And you can even down here, um, you can do like some funky. She says it, but I think metaphorically. You can also do um, those Sounds type of lines. Sounds a little bit weird when like she says it, but lines. I think metaphorically speaking, it makes sense. I'd be worried if. So you could do the wavy lines or you can even do analog dots. By the way, sounds a little bit weird when she says it, but I think. But I like the digital um, that. And you can also choose whether it's above the line, below the line, or both. And so side A would be above the line. By the way, sounds a little bit weird when she says it, but I think. So I just like using it in Premiere because then that way it allows me to do, to be a little bit more creative with the coloring and the type of um, waveform that I get. I know Premiere and After Effects fairly well, and it's one less monthly subscription that I have to purchase. So that you don't have to do this every time, especially since you um, are gonna have clients that you create audiograms for over and over and over, you want to save this preset, which makes uh, your time even quicker next time. So you wanna go up here to animation and you wanna say, save animation preset. And I save it with my client to, in this case, it's our own podcast. So I'm just going to say DMP because that's our company's name. And then I'm going to say Instagram because I, that'll tell me that this is the preset that I use for the 1080 by 1080 square Instagram posts. And so I'm going to hit save. And then what I'm going to show you, I'm going to delete these. Like we just came in here fresh. I'm going to add that gray solid. If you're doing more than one in more than one audiogram, so like one for Twitter, one for LinkedIn and one for Instagram, you can even just come back to your project and the quote is still there. So you don't have to import the quote every time you can just import it once. But then when you go to do the different types of audiograms, then they'll be here. So I can pull the quote down and then I can choose that gray solid, go back up to effects controls, but now I need to add my animation preset that I did last time I made an audiogram. So I come over here to the effects window on the right and I, I um, turn down the little arrow and I look under user presets 
and there it is, DMP Instagram. And I just drag it on top of that. And there it is, all my numbers that I preset, all of my color choices. I don't have to enter in all of that over again, but I do have to come up here and tell it to choose the quote. And then I, as you see this play out where I always check it just to make sure that everything's working. Now, once you've done this, you can minimize After Effects and then you come here and as you see this play out where she says something about there's that line. Now, I don't really like the placement of the line because it's kind of um, going to be hard to see with all those graphics. So just select the adjustment layer that we put into our timeline and you go up here to and you want the position the uh let's the y axis it's basically the vertical is this one and you can oops yeah you can adjust it so and then you can lay out where she says something about their you can play it to see how does it look visually now i could even put it over this one but i like it down here because then you you can see it hands they held hands and she couldn't tell where it hit. you come here to your timeline you hit command m to open up the export window title it with i my um method is the episode title and then ig or instagram audiogram that way if i see these files or if a client needs them again they're super easy for you to find because you've titled it with the episode number what platform it is and and if it's the graphic or the audiogram we're going to hit save and then we're going to hit export you'll find your audiogram on your desktop or wherever you told it to save it just as like a housekeeping thing I like to create a folder previous assets because I don't like this area to get cluttered. And once I've made this audiogram, I don't need these to be here, but they kind of are handy. I have had clients ask for them again, or maybe a guest wanted their name to appear differently. So you have to come in and make the audiogram again. So what I like to do is take all of my assets that I used for this audiogram and throw them in that previous assets so that this area is not cluttered. The other thing that I like to do now that I know I'm going to be making an Instagram audiogram once a week. I say Instagram and I'm going to put this timeline that I've already created into that folder as well as this adjustment layer because I know that that's the adjustment layer that I'm going to need each time. We're going to just pretend these are for next week. All I have to do is double click on my timeline, delete these and drop in my new ones. And the settings for the post has already been saved. And here's my adjustment layer. I don't have to create a new one because it's right there. And I know the settings are going to be right. And now I just go about my business making that match and then double clicking and going to After Effects. So it just makes things a lot quicker. It keeps this tidy and you can have for each. So I have a project for each client that is, and I just title it their name, Audiograms. And I know within that project, there's going to be one for Instagram, one for LinkedIn, one for Twitter, whichever socials your clients are on. And you can just pull open up this timeline fast and then create the audiogram using this tutorial. Shoot me an email at christy at dodgemediaproductions.com or through Slack and let me know if I can help in any way. I hope this was helpful and saves you some money. Bye.